Hello everyone. Today we are going to find the collapse load in a propped cantilever beam when it is subjected to an eccentric point load. We are going to use two methods. First the static method then the kinematic method. Also in this beam we have to find the worst position when the beam is subjected to moving concentrated load and we have to find the load carrying capacity in that position. First let us find the collapse load. First let us use static method. This is the bending moment diagram for a propped cantilever beam when it is subjected to an eccentric point load. To make this diagram, we have to consider this beam as a simply supported beam. We know that in the simply supported beam, if there is an eccentric point load, the formula for the maximum bending moment is WAB upon L. This is the diagram for the end moment in the point A. During the collapse, we will have the plastic moment in the fixed end and under the load. Now we have to find this height for the distance of L. The height is MB. So for L, it is MB. But we have to find the height at the distance of B. So we have to multiply this with B. Finally, we are getting this height MBB upon L. Under the load, the total height MB plus MBB upon L should be equal to WCAB upon L. Here we can take LCM. When we do that, we will get this. We can eliminate this L. Then we can take AB on the other side. It will come in the denominator. Finally, we are getting WC which is equal to MB into L plus B upon AB. Also, we can make expression for MB which is equal to WCAB upon L plus B. Now let us use kinematic method. Let us assume that due to the load there is virtual displacement delta. Let us keep this angle as theta 1 and this angle theta 2. So this angle should be theta 1 plus theta 2. In this beam, in the fixed end, there is a plastic hinge. Also, under the load, there is a plastic hinge. In the simply supported end, there will be no plastic hinge. So, totally, there are two plastic hinges. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle, tan theta 1 is equal to delta upon A. The value of tan theta 1 will be very small. So tan theta 1 will be approximately equal to theta 1. So we can take theta 1 is equal to delta upon A. Delta is equal to A theta 1. Now let us take this triangle. In this triangle tan theta 2 is equal to delta upon B. We know that tan theta 2 will be approximately equal to theta 2. So we can take theta 2 is equal to delta upon B. For delta we can apply A theta 1. Now let us find the internal work done. We know that in the fixed end we have a plastic hinge. We have to multiply MB with this angle. So MB into theta 1. Also we have a plastic hinge. 
under the load here also we have to multiply mb with this angle so mb into theta 1 plus theta 2 we have to add these two for theta 2 we can apply a theta 1 upon b we can take theta 1 outside then we can take mb theta 1 outside 1 plus 1 we will get 2 here we can take LCM when we do that we will get this 2B is B plus B we know that B plus A is L so for B plus A we can apply L this is the internal work done now let us find the external work done for that we have to multiply the load with the displacement delta for delta we can apply a theta 1 this is our external work done we know that the external work done and the internal work done should be same so we can equate these two we can eliminate theta 1 and we can take a on the other side it will come in the denominator Finally, for WC, we are getting MB into L plus B upon AB. Also, we can make an expression for MB which is equal to WC AB upon L plus B. In the question, we have been asked to find the worst position when the beam is subjected to a moving concentrated load this position occurs when there is minimum collapse load. To find the position of minimum collapse load, we have to differentiate WC with respect to A and then we have to equate to 0. Before differentiating, let us make B in terms of A. We know that B is L minus A. So for B, we can apply L minus A. L plus L, we will get 2L. Then we can multiply these two terms. We will get these. Now let us differentiate these with respect to A. MB is constant. We can take outside and take on the right side. 0 upon MB, we will get 0. Here in the numerator and denominator we have A. So we have to use the formula for D upon DX into U upon V. Here X is A, U is 2L minus A and V is AL minus A square. So in the denominator we will have AL minus A square the whole square. Here we will have AL minus A square. Then we have to differentiate this with respect to A. 2L will become 0. For minus A we will get minus 1. U is 2L minus A. Then we have to differentiate this with respect to A. For A it will be 1. So we will have L. For A square the differentiation is 2a. We can take this term on the right side and multiply with a 0. So we will get 0. We can multiply this with a minus 1. We will get this. We can multiply these two terms. We will get this. Then we can take this negative sign inside. So we will get this. We can eliminate minus AL and positive AL. A square minus 2A square. We will get minus A square. Then we can change all of the signs. This will become positive. This will become positive and this will become negative. Now let us add 2L square on both of the sides. 2L square plus 2L square, we will get 4L square. Then we can write this whole term into A minus 2L, the whole square. 
to find a minus 2l we can take root of this it will be plus or minus root of 2l square here we have two solutions positive root of 2l square is not possible only minus root of 2l square is possible we can take l square outside it will come as l let us take minus 2l on the right side it will come as positive 2 minus root 2 we will get 0 0.586 so in the property cantilever beam subjected to eccentric point load the worst position is at a 0 0.586l from the fixed end or at a 0 0.414l from the propped end previously we have made this expression for wc for a we can apply 0 0.586l after simplifying we are getting wc which is equal to 5.828 mb upon l to find mb we have to take 5.828 l on the other side finally for mb we are getting 0 0.1716 wc l now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video